How's it going, everyone? It's Feral Cabbage here, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. So, this may or may not be the last episode, because... Listen, I don't look up games too often, personally, but I did look up this game just to see what endings there are, to see if I could condense them into one video. And, um... There are two endings, from my understanding. There is the one right now that we're gonna probably see right now. Probably gonna see in these next few days. And then a true ending. Which you have to do a bunch of secrets and following up on and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. It, that's just, you know, <laughs> this feels like a lot. So, I might, I might do it though. We'll see. But, honestly, without further ado, I'm just hyped to see the ending I'm gonna get. So, let's get right into it. Sunday, October 4th, 2020. All right, let's do this. Let's see where we're at. <laughs> I forgot about the booty, booty shot right there. Police raid in private Coachella after party biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. Fight broke out during Coachella, culprits in police custody. Despite the arrests, Coachella will go on. We'd love to hear it. All right, let's see, hi Freya. Coming, Neil, my boy. Welcome. Jorge, 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 or whatever you pronounce. Apparently, someone told me I was pronouncing it wrong. But Jorge, I missed you. I kind of forgot he was in this game, to be honest. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight. So far, so good, officer. But the cop was supposed to be watching this area, hanging out with a coffee shop. I'm not so sure about that. Hey. I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? <laughs> that requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron! Why'd you say oxymoron like that? That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Pharaoh. I really needed an, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. You know what? Espresso coming right up. Yo, I can smell the coffee in this game. That's what I love about it. I'm gonna miss this game to be honest. Like I just, the vibes are immaculate. An energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. Coming right up. <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Your expressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. I forget the voice I gave him. Damn. It's not a competition, officer. Ha! Ah, it is for her. She thought if I could make a... She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last few days, right? Yes, I was. Some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row! So if the gods are trying to give me first-hand experience... To use in my story! Still freaking... Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise? It's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise? Honestly? I'm pretty confident. Best of luck, then. Do you have any updates? About the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case? I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the precinct, precinct were talking about it. But in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped a lot that night. We asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we had a lot more problems. He helped a lot getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. 
So, those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew. What does that mean on her arm? I wonder. What's that tattoo mean? I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? Oh, I forgot. He's, like, he got hospitalized, right? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Couchella. It's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far. But he wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Dot, dot, dot. Rachel, is your dad good, bro? Rachel. Rachel. Is Mr. Hendry all right? Before that? Can I have a cup of hot chocolate? Dark? Does she mean she wants, like, dark hot chocolate? Or... Hot chocolate dark. Does she want dark chocolate or hot chocolate? I don't know. Is there even a hot chocolate option on here, or am I just silly? I feel like I might... I think this might be my goofy era, to be honest, because I... I thought... Um... I don't want to check, like, a guide or anything, because that feels lame. But... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Dark Chuck. Because it is, it's dark, it's just, yeah, it's dark chocolate. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. That's going to be fine. Oh, thank God. Dude, he woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast enough. Ooh, achievement. He got fast. He got help fast enough to stop things from getting worse. He's doing okay then? It'll take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still. It's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. All he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, it's not, I mean, it's, it, I, I already voiced my opinion on this whole situation, and I'm doing really bad at Rachel's voice right now, I am so sorry. <laughs> don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense, but it's okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital. His friends are there at the moment. I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really need to get away for a bit. So I told Dad I'm going to visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Aww, uh, they're, they're getting along now. Oh, I just smacked my mic, I'm sorry. Oh, they're getting along now. I don't know if that made like a massive thud on the, <laughs> the audio. Miss Rachel, what really happened last night? Dad got to a fight with him some, with some stuff. Dad got to a fight with him some. Oh my God, Rachel, why is your sentence so hard? My dad got to a fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me. In some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form. He started a fight with the thugs as a cat? Why did he morph? Dot dot dot. Some people want to see what his human form looked like. And link him directly to me. So some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify. They managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Lester. I forgot about Lester. Oh boy. That is such a... Listen. 
to all the Lesters out there, I'm so sorry for saying this, but Lester is such a criminal's name, bro. Like, I can, like, not like criminal as in, like, cool heist man. I mean criminal as an actual predator, bro. Like, put him behind bars. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys in locker room talk, right? Is that a spin-off? Is that going to be a spin-off? They're going to make a locker room talk? Please don't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I take that back. Dude, coffee talk. No, because coffee talk 2 is already being released. I think it's called like hibiscus something. So... Coffee Talk 3, Locker Room. Dropping it tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And I was the, I was the topic of discussion. Ugh. So, there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad it wasn't there. But again, I owe Dad for... Da, da, da. Hey, it's okay, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might have been he might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. Sorry, I swear I saw a bird fly in my room for some reason. I, there's no bird in my room or it's pitch black outside right now. I always play coffee talk at night. It's pitch black outside right now, so I have no idea. Well, I just witnessed. I might be hallucinating. And he's my father. I wish mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to dad when he's recovered. Dot, dot, dot. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is that I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear it. It might be weird to hear it about something. It might be weird to hear it about something coming from Freya. But she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Dot, dot, dot. Guys, thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. Yeah. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Farrell. Man. What a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Horty. Okay then, see ya. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. Had enough rest. I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm. Alright. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project never have existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on chit-chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. Is that all the 13th day is? Oh, wow, then we're definitely going to get this done quickly.
Yeah, this is gonna be the easiest, fastest episode ever, bro. Two weeks later. All right, let's see. I'm actually excited to see everyone. Okay. Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost in major boost for Seattle tourism. More women have spoken out and claimed more or less Morris Lester lied. Initial reports initiate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. Damn you, Neil. Damn you. Oh, shit. Oh, everyone's here. Hello. You're finally here. Look at us. All... Oh, I'm taking a screenshot. Look at all of us packed together like a big family, bro. Hey, y'all. Hey, yo. Hi, Freya. Huh. Someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they... They approved it. We're happy for you. We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh, my. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression... I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturous. Rapturously? Rapturous. Rapturously? Nah, this is gonna bother me. This act. This one's actually gonna bother me. Okay. What is this? Rapturously. 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 I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. Damn. You're goddamn right. Oh my god. Oh my god. How'd they react to the draft? To be honest, they're not even that excited about the story itself. A story with an unhappy ending, huh? That's what they said. But at this point, I don't really care. As long as they publish it. I'm content with that. Anyway. Whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it. The feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough. Of course. They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately. And some old timers. Of course, those three rats over there. I heard Hyde's back from his trip from Korea. Oh, back from his trip to Korea. My bad. Yeah. He brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any from me? I'm not sure. But he did say he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving the old fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. Last time I saw you was... Before your mini break? Yes. We decided to go to Couchella. Wow. Oh, do they have herpes now? The event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So, where'd you go after that? We ended up at Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. We never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. Wait a minute. New profile picture, let's see. Aw, oh, look at those. They're... So are they dating? I'm gonna be mad if they're not. I'm gonna be actually furious if they're not. Like, you're gonna catch me huffing and puffing. Like, people who know me in real life, I'm gonna go to school tomorrow. And I'm gonna be like... Argh. Like, I'm gonna be angry, bro. Like, just make it canon, please. You both look so cute. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No. It was at Max. It had a Japanese style photo there. So, I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah. I helped out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way... Have any of you heard from Neil? Oh, no, that voice cracked. Have any of you heard from Neil? No? 
Not me. They did send two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah. One's from Coachella. That's not even that far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. Yeah. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Work on their mission, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, probably. They stand more of a chance there. Sorry, I just got a... My phone just started to blow up or something. Anyway, guys. We're leaving for the night. Ooh. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. So soon. We're here for... We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way, then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Pharaoh. See you around. So are they dating or not? Uh, I need to. I need to look this up. I I need to look. I need to look this up. <laughs> they look happier than when I first met them. Oh, that's that's Freya. Talk. I mean Freya talk the same anyway. I'm not gonna repeat one. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Sorry, but it seems like I'm ignor ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Wow, congrats! But I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving into a new place. She got promoted recently. Oh, that's nice. And her company's providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be really big. She must be a really big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. <laughs> you shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey. It's alright. Freya and Freya will be keeping me company anyway. Our, me and Freya are literally the same person. I swear. Oh, hey Freya. And Farrell. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the moving in part. Are they getting married? <laughs> as you've heard, we're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place. So they want to cut my commuting, commuting cost as much as possible. That's thoughtful of them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees and I'm working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met... I believe you're going to introduce Bailey to your parents. How'd it go? Man. My father didn't kill me, at least. Oh, wait, yeah! They were gonna have, like, a full-blown confrontation. Well, at least Pup will let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's... We need to go now. 
Or we'll miss the intro again. The intro? You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. <laughs> I didn't take you to someone who liked FMC Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me play the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Baileys. She worked on the game. Really? Oh, well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want me to miss, you don't want to miss the movie. All right, all right, I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh, I'll catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Feral. Enjoy the movie. Here they go. I'm happy for them. They've still got a long way to go. Probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How, how will you write their story? As it is. The beautiful enough. It has enough drama. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway. Da da da. What's that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for ten days. What do you expect? Nah. Come on. They played an important part of my writing closet. Pro plot process, remember? Well... There are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me! Where should we start? Oh, we got an, ep we got an epilogue. Lua visits the place more often now that they live nearby. The last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. He said he's considering moving back to Seattle if his agency allows it. What? Aqua continues her work with the, universe, with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. I'm still shocked about the... <laughs> the uh, I'm, so, I'm shocked about so many things going on right now. Neil, the only news about them are the two postcards they sent me. Neil's just living his best life. Rachel is back at the rec or recording studio, preparing for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who's made news as the as a legend who's going back to the industry. That's Freya. And finally, Freya. She finished her book, got published, and had some signings and had some signing sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. She still visits regularly. And I didn't get a chance to read all that, and I feel bad. Coffee Chuck, a game by Toge Productions. I mean, I I probably would have liked the game, but I probably would have liked that better if I was able to read that last section right there. But that was good. I honestly can say, well, there's a lot of gaps between me playing it because of how much school has got kept me occupied. I can honestly th say this is a really good game. And honestly, I encourage people to go and play for themselves because, I mean, granted that I just played through the whole game. So if you're watching to this point, you've either watched like the last episode. It's like, oh, that's how it ends. Cool. And then like kept going. Um, but I wonder if there's a way to make Freya's book sell well, because she looked kind of sad in um, the little ending there. I think maybe, how many endings are there? <laughs> I don't know. But... Yeah, I honestly think this game, this game's really good. I think there are some things that are a little bit, like, uh, that are a little bit irritating about the game sometimes. How, there's a limit to how many things you can throw away. Kind of messed me up a bit. So, yeah, I, I, that was, it's a minor thing to complain about, though. So, obviously, maybe like, oh, the, 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 there's not enough things for me to throw away. Like, yeah, that's a very weird thing to complain about. So, if that's my biggest complaint about a game, a game's doing pretty damn good, that's all I'm gonna say.
Aww. I want to play the rest of the credits so I so people can um so you guys can see all the people who worked on this great game. So I'm gonna do start doing that now with games like show the credits when I'm done with the series. Oh. Ooh. What the deuce? Welcome. Hello, Farrell. I don't know what voice to give this guy. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. Is this Neil? What? Wait. No way. Is this really you? It's been a while. You've changed. A bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then. Multiple successes. What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an earthling immigration agency is after me. Now that you mention it... Somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? I don't know if I should do the Neil voice or like a weird, like... This might be weird, but you know that episode of the Twilight Zone? Where they like unravel their, like, the girl's face? And she's completely normal, but all the other doctors are like weird f and funky looking. So she like runs through the hospital. She's like, oh my god, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. Because to her, the pretty lady's ugly in the face of all the pig people. But then she finally meets that one guy whose name's like Walter Smith. And the doctor's like, Walter will save you. That's how I kind of like pictured this guy looking like. And like having that kind of face. Like that kind of face and that kind of voice. So, well, this version of Neil. Neil, on the other hand, he's just a, he's just a guy. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I'm kind of going off on a tangent right now. Not so long after you finished, after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That F-I-R-E agent. You've seen him? Yes, thankfully. I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. Dot, dot, dot. So, you finally noticed. What the hell? Do you think that such power can be born from our kind? You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries, but there are some timelines where I dot dot dot, where I forget to pretend I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. Heh, <laughs> interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Is this about the true ending? Hold on. Hold the phone. Then, when it was my first when the first time Rachel visited this place. I know that was day 3. And then the last one involved you on your second visit. That would be day something, I don't know. Huh? Oh, there's another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Okay, that would be day 14 then. I'm taking pictures of this. I might go for the true ending, to be honest, then. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. You'd be in the main story of this game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Um... I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to dedicate a video to the true ending. I don't know how complicated the true ending is, but I kind of want to be able to go into it full mindset because... Wow. I actually... I, wow. <laughs> that's the... Wow. That's the best... Did I get new art? Yeah, I did get new art. But, like, that's the best word I can use to describe this game. Wow. Okay, that's, uh, is that? Yeah, it's Rachel right there. Those are, oh, these are the epilogue pictures, okay. Why is Freya sad? 
I think maybe there's a happy frame. Is that in the true ending? I wonder. Hmm. Ooh, here's all the concept art too. That's cool. Yeah, okay. Well, let's actually, let's, I'll talk about looking at the concept art and stuff like that. But, um, so, yeah, I, I really like this game. I think that if you want to, if you, like, feel like you want to play this game yourself, go for it. I know I basically have spoiled the entire experience through, um, who the hell is this? I don't know. But I know I basically spoiled the entire game by playing it like this in front of all of you guys, but if you still have the urge to want to buy this game, I think it's only like, if I remember correctly, it was like $10, $15? If a little bit lower. And that's really good. Actually, I don't think, I think $15 is way too, isn't the price. I don't remember what I paid for the game. I don't really pay attention to the prices. I just be buying stuff. Not the best financial decisions, but come on. So, I think if you have, if you have the urge and you have the want to play this game, even though you know the whole story, and eventually you will probably know the true endings and might do a video on that, go for it. And also, the people, these I think these are small developers, they deserve all the love, they they deserve all the love, all the money, all the support that you can reasonably, reasonably provide them. So, ho I hope I provided a good uh, commentary over all that. Probably not, but, you know... It is what it is if you would be. So I think I got all the art except for that one next to Freya. Interesting. Alright. But that's all for this time. I'm Frail Cabbage. And make sure you subscribe to join the Cabbage Patch and whatever alien patch. Make sure you like the video. Helps a ton. Took a break for like two weeks, so obviously I could I can need all the support. Take all the support I can get. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Stay awesome.